Hello, IFA friends, family members. Great to be with you again today. Katherine Monson here. Want to share some thoughts on the power of good habits. There's all kinds of research that shows that up to 40% of what we do every day is habitual. In fact, we don't think about it. It is just habit, which makes me question myself. Are my habits empowering me or doing the opposite? Are my habits limiting me or freeing me up? Are my habits helping me achieve my goals or hindering me from reaching my goals. And so it really is important that I'm looking at my habits and thinking about, is there a habit I should replace, change, get rid of with something else? John Maxwell said, you'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. Uh, Brian Tracy has said successful people are simply those with successful habits. You know, it's really a discipline is choosing between what you want now and what you ultimately want most. And once you understand that habits can be changed, then you have the freedom, maybe even the responsibility to change them. Uh, the Roman philosopher Ovid said habits change into character. So the more good habits we have, the more likely our character is going to be developed to be strong and very, very good. So if I want to increase my success, I need to drop some of my less good or less successful forming habits. So that's kind of a great way to start. And so when I look and study successful people, I see some habits that successful people have and live every day because they are habits. Uh, one that I see as, as very, very foundational is successful people are composed. They understand emotional intelligence. They know what it feels like when they start to get angry or frustrated. They catch themselves understanding those cues, they catch themselves and stop themselves from showing anger or frustration. That's all about composure. Rarely do you see a hysterical, off the hook, uh, emotional, highly successful person because that habit of composure absolutely helps lead to success and can be a habit that's developed. Another is successful people are really knowledgeable. They know and they understand that constant learning gives them an edge on everything in life, business, personal, whatever it is, spiritual. So they're working on always learning. That's a habit that we can develop as well always learning so we become knowledgeable. Successful people speak with certainty. They understand that great public speaking skills, great communication skills help them get their message out to their customers, to their team members, right? Thus, they work on developing their public speaking skills. Another habit I see with highly successful people is they're grateful and they're appreciative. They really understand the many people that have mentored them, the many people that have laid the foundation for them and the many team members that help them achieve what they achieve. And so what we can each do is decide to create those same habits. Colin Powell said, if you're going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception. It is a prevailing attitude. So if I want to learn the habit of composure, how would I do that? I would understand what composure is. I would understand what emotional intelligence is. I'd Google that and I'd learn it. I'd learn how to use deep breathing skills. I'd learn how to identify when I'm starting to get frustrated, angry, emotional, and learn how to stop that. I'll understand and learn that 10 minutes a day of quiet time just for myself helps me be better and more in control. All of us can create good habits. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me.